Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here, uh, bringing you another video. Uh, this one is a little different, so um, a lot of you have been asking how to uh, break up your uh, your Home Assistant web front end uh, into like different tabs and different groups and cards and all that kind of stuff. So I thought I would do a quick tutorial on how you can kind of do all that. Um, so it's really simple. Uh, basically, you're using the uh, groups component. Just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, so obviously, you know, you've set up your Home Assistant web front end and you're uh, getting all of your devices and everything added into Home Assistant and it starts to look something like this. So as you can see here, there's all kinds of uh, sensors and, and uh, device trackers at the top and then I got all my scripts and automations and everything is just all on one page and so it's overwhelming. There's just so much information on that one page. So what we're going to show you how to do here today is to basically break this up into maybe multiple pages. You can define them however you want. And we're, we're also going to even show you how to uh, move or add your sensors like we have at the top. Um, the little circular uh, monitoring uh, devices. And we can add those into uh, the little cards down below as well and monitor them that way as opposed to having them up the top. So let's do a quick rundown of what we're going to cover in this video, like we usually do. Uh, so we're going to uh, start by uh, creating a couple of different uh, tabs. We'll call them views. That's kind of what Home Assistant calls them. It's still part of groups, but uh, I'll, I'll run through everything. Once we do that, then of course I'll show you what that looks like in Home Assistant so you can see what the new uh, views look like. Uh, and then we're going to go back and we're going to add a bunch of devices to a card, which is still in groups. And then, of course, lastly, we'll look at that as well in Home Assistant and see what that looks like. And hopefully this will help you guys understand how you can kind of customize and play around with Home Assistant a little bit more. So let's get started. So as you can see here, I'm doing this on my new uh, HasIO configuration that I've been playing around with. Uh, I'm going to start by editing the uh, groups.yaml file. So in your default configuration of Home Assistant, uh, there should be a, a line down at the bottom that says include and then have groups.yaml. Um, you'll need that line in the uh, uh, configuration, of course, to reference this file so that you can, uh, like I said, create these different tabs and views and everything else. So we're gonna create a couple of different um, groups here, or like I said, these are called views. Um, we're going to uh, use one for our, just kind of our main default view, be like the main tab. And then we're gonna, I'm just gonna create a second one. I'm gonna call it uh, kitchen. And it'll be adding some devices for my kitchen. So we'll, uh, We'll go through here. We're going to start out. Like I said, this one is the default view. So uh, we'll call it default underscore view. Most of them you can name whatever you want. The, the default view does need to be named default underscore view. Um, as far as the name goes itself, you can give it uh, whatever name you want. I'm going to call it main. That's what will be displayed in the tab at the top. Now here's the tricky part. So like I said, this is in the groups.yaml file. If you want this to be a tab, you need to have view set to yes. This will uh, tell it that uh, this is going to be displayed as its own little tab or page in the uh, home system. Then entities, we're just going to add whatever devices or components we want to be shown on that tab. So I'm just going to go down and add a few that I want on my main screen. Um, uh, switch that phone plug that's kind of uh, the uh, plug for my house phone Let's see we'll add a input select this will be for uh, changing my theme I'd like to be able to do that from the main screen as well and it's like one more that we can add on here we'll see we'll do a uh, let's do the weather component so we'll do uh, weather dot dark underscore sky be my weather component on the main page as well that's all for right now that I'm gonna put on this main page for the sake of this video so let's go ahead and create a second view we're gonna call this one kitchen underscore view 
And again, uh, the name part of it can be whatever you want. That's what's going to show on your tab at the top. So I'm going to call mine kitchen. Um, the view has to be set to yes for it to be seen as a tab. Um, entities here, this is what all devices I'm going to add in here. So let's see here. We're going to go in. I'm going to add some lights that I have. So we'll say uh, light.kitchen underscore lights. Let's see, I'll add in my uh, see, light dot kitchen underscore cabinet underscore lights. And then, of course, let's see, lastly, we'll add in, I'll add in the switch for my uh, kitchen TV. So we'll say switch dot kitchen TV. And we'll go ahead and save this. I need to restart my uh, HasIO. So we'll do a HasIO Home Assistant restart. Give that a second to come back up. All right, so let's see what that looks like. As you can see here, we're back on my web front end, but not near the number of devices that were there before. So now, as you can see at the top, we got two tabs. We have a main and we have a kitchen. And those are the devices that we added in to those views. Pretty simple, easy to follow, uh, I think. And like I said, uh, the more devices you add in there under those groups, that's what's all going to show up on those tabs. So you can create as many as you want, and they'll show up along the top there as long as you set the view to yes. All right, so now let's look at adding some sensors or device trackers that we have there at the top. We're going to add those to a group and display them as a card on the web front end instead of uh, individual little circles at the top. So um, we do that again by editing our groups.yaml file. So there's our two uh, views that we already set up, but now we're gonna create a, uh, and we'll put this in here. We'll just stick it right underneath default. We're gonna call this main device group. I'm going to slide it right underneath the default view because that's where I plan on displaying it. Uh, the name, I'm just going to call it devices. Again, this is what's going to be displayed inside the little card. You can call it whatever you want. Now, control, I'm going to set to hidden. Now, what that means is if you put a bunch of uh, switches or scripts into a single group and display them on a card, you can actually control all of them at once uh, by just turning that whole group of devices on or off. I don't really need that, so I'm going to hide whatever uh, little switch at the top for that group because I don't, I don't need to see that. And as you can see, I didn't do anything with the view uh, because I don't want it to be shown as a tab. So we're going to add in our entities here. Like I said, these are all going to be sensors, so these would normally just display in little circles at the top. But I'm going to display them here. So I got my uh, iPhone, my wife's iPhone, my kids' devices. This will basically just say if those devices are online at the house or not. all those added in here and then I'm just gonna take this new group that I just created and I'm gonna add it on that default view that I have set up at the top so we'll scroll back up here I'll say group main underscore device underscore group Go ahead and uh, save that. And 
of course, again, we need to restart uh, our uh, Home Assistant. So we're gonna do a Has.io Home Assistant restart. Of course, we'll give that a second to come back online. All right, so let's see what that looks like on the main screen here. So here we are. Not only do we have the uh, components that we added earlier, uh, there's the input select and stuff like that, but now we have the uh, devices that we just created, that little group with all the little sensors in it. Now those five devices show up on their own little card on the web front end. Pretty cool. So again, that's two ways that you can use groups to kind of break up your configuration and organize it a little better to how you like it. Let's do a quick run through of what we covered in this video. So again, we started out, we did, uh, showed you how to create tabs or views. And then secondly, of course, we saw what those look like uh, in action or on the web front end. Third, we created another group and we uh, basically showed that as its own little card on the web front end. And lastly, of course, I showed you what that looked like. So again, that is the end of this video. Not a whole lot to it. I hope I wasn't too confusing. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, again, if you have any questions or comments, don't be afraid to ask. Hit me up in the comments. I will do my best to answer everybody as quickly as possible. Um, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, uh, let me know in the comments as well. And again, I'll try to get it added to my list. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to get these videos pumped out as quickly as possible, but I mean, I do have a life, so I kind of have to work in the middle of that. But, uh, anyway, guys, uh, hope to see you guys around. Thanks. Bye.